So you got a show tonight? Yeah, I got a show tonight. And, and true, to, true to nature, I'm painting everything at the last minute, right? It's not that I started this at the last minute, it's just that I, I like to finish everything up and put the last little tuck point in is what I kind of refer to it as. And but, so these little small details are what, like, for me, let me know the painting's finished. And it's really close, it's right there. There's like just a few things. And like, I'll just put like a little detail like this. Bring out that point, pull it down. And then it comes together. But if I could do it all last week, I would do it all last week and then I just take off. The only thing that keeps me here at Indian Market is knowing I have an opening. <laughs> but I'm sure you're frequently visited as well, correct? Yeah, a lot of people coming by. Uh, my friend George Alexander has been up here helping me do some work and um, my friend Zoe Ernest has been coming by. Uh, my friend Jordan Craig is in town from Oakland and there's just like all these artists doing really great stuff and everybody has openings. And then there's a bunch of artists that are still in their studio doing exactly what I'm doing. And I'm not like out of the ordinary people say, oh, you got an opening tonight. You're doing all this last minute work, but a lot, a lot of artists are doing the same thing. Right, right. Well, it's such a beautiful time of the year. Right, I want to be out there hanging out, but this is our crunch time. Yep. We always do, we always do the same thing every year. We use our crunch time to crunch. And it's art. So How about you? You've seen some good shows out there? What's happening? We've seen some great shows. There's so many neat things. We have Best of Show, Jackie Larson Bread, and uh, Best of Show with her beadwork. Oh, wow. Yeah. Marla Allison, we gave her our award. She has a really cool painting. Yeah, she's doing some really great really paintings. Work. Yeah, I saw her opening last night. I miss all my friends' openings, like Kara and Diego Romero. I want to go and do their shows, but I, I can't always get out of here. So, what's going on tonight? Well, well tonight I have an opening, so I'm hoping that people are coming to my opening. And I've got a show called Changing Planet, and basically Changing Planet is a um, is an exhibition of paintings that are all based on global climate change. And so they're tornadoes, they're um, volcanoes, uh, tumultuous skies, and it's all based on the premise that right now we're in this Anthropocene era of where the planet is really changing around us. Ah, there's Doubting Thomases, and that's okay. You know, none of them are scientists, so they don't get to convince the rest of the world that this isn't a real thing. But so I was listening to NPR this morning, and they were saying that this year, 2019, has been a year that it has set precedent heat waves um, that have topped any of the historical, really? you know, levels of. Of, uh, heat waves in human existence. Oh my gosh! Well, so try that. Try that shirt on. See how right, that fits. Right. And people was like, "Tony's one. making that up." Actually, it's true. <laughs> the heat waves in Europe and in the Midwest, well, even here today, it's, and, uh, it's a little toasty. It's a little toasty yeah. outside. But so I, I like this idea because I paint landscapes all the time. I like this idea that I can actually address and document what it feels like to be here in this moment. Maybe in 80 years, when Miami's underwater, the Phoenix Valley has relocated to Chicago, California and doesn't exist. California is doing whatever it's going to do, keep burning, right? And people say, what did it feel like to be there? And I was like, I was there, I was painting all this crazy stuff, these skies, and this is what it was felt like. So that's kind of what this show is. It's sort of me just responding to because I travel all the time and I see these things and I'm like, wow, I never remember Chicago being like this. And watching the trees blossom and bloom, you know, in the middle of winter in California. And I'm just amazed that sometimes people don't, it's, I think it's easy and I understand. Like, I, I would like just to say it, it's not real. People make stuff up. What, what, made, what made you just do that last stroke? Uh, some of it's pretty intuitive. Like I look, was it and like I, a balance? Like it needed that color down there? Well, that's a pretty good question. I look at the painting and I see where is it? Where does it need a little highlight? 
but I also am looking at the way the sky is casting shadows on the foothills. And so there's a lot of um, variations in light and tonality and color and things. Well, thank you for uh, sharing your moment. I know you're busy, so yeah. I really appreciate it. It's good to have you come by, Josh. I, I hope you're having fun here in the Indian market here. It's, it's always different, but somehow it's always the same yep. too, right? It's so <laughs> I'm gonna see you at my opening tonight. Yep, yep, you gonna we'll be, be there. there. Yep, and then we'll see you tonight later. Yes, I'll see you tonight for some music. Yes. And um, I should be. Are you DJing tonight? No, uh, t tomorrow afternoon okay. at one o'clock. Yeah. And it's just an hour set. Yeah, Shelly knows exactly. So it's a Dallas Soul set with a lot of. Uh,